hello friends welcome to easy homemade projects in today's video i will show you how to make automatic plastic bag sealing machine with the help of arduino This video is sponsored by JLC PCB where you can order your 5 pieces of up to 8 layer PCBs just in $2 and now they can produce more complex PCBs up to 20 layers. Now you can order your 6 layer PCBs with all these additional features including JLC via in pad service with no additional charges. To understand this service let me show you a short video clip. If we directly place the VIA directly on the pad, there's no need for additional trace before VIA. But this can lead to solder wicking away through the hole during soldering, causing defects or cold solder joints. VIA in-pad technology addresses these issues. We still place the VIA on the pad, but then fill it with resin and plate it with copper. The surface shows almost no trace of this. And soldering is as reliable as with a regular pad, saving on routing, optimizing board size and also enhancing thermal conduction. If you're looking to optimize your routing and save time, you can take advantage of free VIA in-pad service. Now you can also get double immersion gold thickness with ENIG finish for no extra charges. For more details about their services, you can log into jlcpcb.com. Okay guys, so after a few days, I got our PCBs from JLC PCB. Here is the box. Let me open it to show you our new PCBs. As you can see, the build quality is really nice as always. So now we will collect all the components that are required to complete this PCB. So here are all the components that are required to complete our control board PCB. First of all here you can see two 220 ohm resistors, three 10 kilo ohm resistors and three 1 kilo ohm resistors. Two terminal blocks, some LEDs, heater pins, a small tactile switch and here is a 0.96 inches OLED display. Arduino Nano, a 50 kilo ohm potentiometer, a 220 microfarad 25 volt capacitor and uh, here you can see a voltage regulator 7805 and uh, here is a N channel MOSFET P75NF75 model number and uh, this is our PCB and here you can see a 10 kilo ohm thermistor. So now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Ok guys, so component soldering is done as you can see here. Here are all the components that are required to complete our sealing mechanism. So first of all here you can see this piece of wood. It is about 5 inches long and uh, half an inch is wide and the thickness of this piece is around quarter of an inch and uh, this part will be the base of our sealing mechanism so this piece is almost 5 inches long the thickness of all these pieces is same around quarter of an inch and uh, this piece is 4.5 inches long and uh, half inch wide and uh, these two pieces are 1.5 inches long and uh, half inches wide and the thickness is same as this one. So this part will go here and uh, then this pin will be inserted here and then this thing will work like this. Here are four metallic strips. The length of strip is around 4.5 inches and the width is a little less than half of an inch. Here are some nut bolts and screws, a spring and a metallic pin. 
here are two nichrome strips we will use them as our heating element and uh, here are two pieces of high temperature non-stick fabric and this is a limit switch so these two things basically used in commercial impulse sealers so when you will buy these things will came uh, like this here is a nichrome strip and uh, this fabric will came in this shape so you will need to cut it according to your required size. So now I will assemble all these parts together. Okay, so first of all this nichrome strip will be connected here. And uh, we will tight it with the help of this small screw. So this strip should be very tight. And uh, this part uh, should be connected here with the help of another screw. Let me show you. Now we will place this fabric here and uh, one strip at the top side and the other one is at the bottom side and then we will tighten them with the help of these nut bolts. So guys as you can see now this part is complete and uh, now I will do the same thing uh, with this part. Ok guys so the bottom side heater is also complete and uh, now we will connect this top side heater here with the help of this pin. And uh, now this spring will be connected here. Now we will connect this limit switch here. Ok guys so now I will make the wiring connections for both top and the lower side heater. So keep in mind that the both heaters will be connected in series. So guys here I made the wiring connections for both heaters. The both heaters are connected in series as I told you earlier. So this side of the top heater is connected with this. Uh, this side of the lower heater with the help of uh, this wire. You can see here. And uh, then these two points are connected with this wire. So this wire will be connected to the control board to provide the power to the both heaters. And uh, now this thermistor will go here in this hole. So it will detect the temperature of the heaters. Make sure that the thermistor wires should be covered properly and uh, they should not connect with the heating element. Otherwise the control board will be damaged. Ok guys so our heating assembly is now complete and uh, now we will connect all these wires to our control board PCB. Limit switch wires will be connected here. As you can see the name is written on PCB. And uh, similarly the thermistor wires will be connected here. And the heater wires will be connected here. So we will connect the power supply wires here. The power supply should be 12 volt and the current should be minimum 8 amperes. Now we will burn the Arduino code. Here is the Arduino code for our project. The code is very simple and easy. 
you will need to install all these libraries to make this project work. You can get more details about the code in video description. After installation of Arduino code, I connected our machine with the 12 volt power supply source and uh, now it is ready to use. So first of all we will need to set the temperature at uh, 110 degrees. So basically here are two modes in this machine. The one is pulse mode and the other one is continuous mode. You can change these uh, both modes with the help of this mode selection button. In continuous mode uh, the heater will be turned on always and uh, the heater light will indicate the condition of the heater. And in pulse mode the heater will only heat up when we will press this limit switch. So in my opinion the pulse mode is very accurate. Ok guys so now we will seal this plastic bag with the help of our sealing machine. So as you can see now this end is open. Let me seal it. Ok so now when we will press this uh, limit switch you will notice that the heater LED will glow and uh, after heating uh, the heater element will be turned off automatically and this LED will indicate. You can notice. Ok so sealing is done. Let me show you. As you can see the ceiling is very beautiful and perfect. Let me show you. As you can see Now we will pack some air. As you can see there is no leakage. Now here are some snacks that I am going to pack with this machine. Nicely packed. Now we will pack some wheat grains. As you can see nicely packed and now we will pack some water as you can see there is no water leakage so guys that's it for today's video I hope you will like my this project. All necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. If you like this project, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.